the Lord took me to Ghana. I have a soft spot for Ghana because I have businesses there and I've lived there before. I've done mission work there. The Lord took me to Ghana and the Lord said, I should say to everyone listening to me there, I have politicians that are submitted to me in Ghana. The Lord said, I should say to you that um, 2024, power is leaving NPP to NDC. Aha, eye obenfo radio. Musonfo obenfo kwa mjimeni. Tini debi amekano. Misisi ene, ene de edika ya woshe. Ana wuti ya ena. Na wa subscribe wu. Na wa de amayeni. Sabi ya latest and trending stories. Di unye ti ya nka wapeno. Di unye afi ya nka wapeno. Mini mse eno de editi ni edisha. Na yemfeni yina emremu. Ana asi yemfeni yina mla mesomu. Aka se besomu wane di ebesomu sumpa. Ene ye bo ura. Gana ama nyosemu. Inyina yeni tuya se. Afiwe se mwane ya babe tuwa ba. A akato na bro. Chese bra kesha. Nye kwa kwa tuwa ba. Edi ya yi gana ma mpenye ni. Ene ye mra shemi jwa fuo. Na ye sha. Ni pa ba akuma ako 13. Ena epre akunyano. Na yi ni mse gana hadi ye. Otisi hano ma. Ankwa ye MPP NDC. NDC MPP. Nti akwa ye ni pa miyonu. Ena ehure di kanyi. Na eno. Ena nyakupo ndi fuwa ba akwa. Ya fula yonu Bishop Feyi Daniels. Ono so o shem kom. E de fa hon ni pa. Nyanko pon e chusu no. Anasu bitu ma babi di mkunim. E de ama abatu wa akatu na bro. Ne ye babi tu wano. A hari wabin fu radio. Nyanko ni yonko ti ye Bishop Feyi Daniels. Ni nkom sha. O shem e de fa abatu wano. E hon. A Christian is one that is Christ like. A disciple. Is the one that is following a man in order to imitate the Christ likeness in that man. You know, the Bible does not really allow you to follow Christ. He asks you to follow man as he follows Christ. Paul said, Follow me as I follow Christ. That is discipleship. Now, listen carefully to me. If you are going to walk in the dimension of Paul, even though Paul is not available now and you might not be able to have access to him, you know, I hope you cannot really follow Paul right now. You can't. You follow men that are alive, you don't follow those that have been to be with the Lord. You know, you don't. You don't. So, let me give an example now from the time of Paul. If you are going to follow Paul now, for example, to follow Paul means that you are able to walk in the dimensions Paul walked in. So, if you are going to follow Paul, in following Paul, you are going to experience trips to heaven like Paul experienced. Now, you are going to hear words that are unspeakable among men that Paul experienced, that Peter did not experience. In following Peter, you'll be a great believer too, but you not have the experiences that Paul had. Are you following me? Because in following men, you are following their Christ-likeness. So you follow Paul. Not Christ, Paul, as he follows Christ. If you follow Philip, you are going to experience teleportation. Move from one distance to another without the use of a vehicle. Because Philip walked in that. Then also, you will have grace to prophesy. Because the Bible told me that the daughters of Philip, they all prophesy. So if you follow Peter, you are not going to explain that. You are not going to teleport anywhere. You ask the angel to carry you. The angel will not carry you. Because it was not a dimension that was given to him that he walked in. So in following Philip, you are going to experience Philip's Christ-likeness. The Christ-likeness of Christ that he has. Those are the things you will experience also. Are you following me? So if you are going to be prophetic and you are going to be sound in doctrine, there's a man you can follow. If you are going to dominate the elements of the earth, rain, sun, weather, circumstances, there's a man you can follow. If you are going to walk heavily in the activities of angels, there's a man you can follow. If you are going to teleport, glory to Jesus there's a man you can follow. His name is Olua Peiropo Daniels. Follow me as I follow Christ. It's simple. I want to quickly dish out the mind of God about what is happening in the nations of the world. Um, as the Lord has instructed me, you should hear these things to so know what to do. The Lord took me to Ghana. I have a soft spot for Ghana because I have businesses there and I've lived there before. I've done mission work there. The Lord took me to Ghana and the Lord said, I should say to everyone listening to me there, I have politicians that are submitted to me in Ghana. The Lord said, I should say to you that um, 2024, power is leaving NPP to NDC. I'm saying this in clear terms. And the Lord said to me that if you have been thriving on the economy of Ghana by changing by changing another currency to CDs so as to make more profit, 
in from 2024 you'll be disappointed because the economy will have a rise will have a boom i see power leaving npp to ndc in ghana it's a dawn of a new day in ghana in 2024 shout hallelujah i saw in the spirit realm a demon spirit from a very thick forest yes very thick forest because this demon spirit is almost like an idol right yes it's almost like an idol i saw some people who are members around him mm. have gone to consult this spirit mm. so it is more or less like a connection a connection yes has come and i saw this spirit sitting on the chest of this man and as a result he is not able to breathe properly he is not able to breathe properly the spirit of god said there are so many evil spirits that have come to surround him and there is a burden he is now carrying that is heavier than him and it is more spiritual than physical right it is more spiritual than physical but the more reason why this time i have to say this even though i say i won't prophesy about ghana the more reason I have to say this and we pray is because of his daughter. Yes. And the daughter I'm seeing is a light in complexion girl, wow. not black. Light in complexion girl. This same spirit that is attacking the father with difficulty in breathing and chest issues has turned each face towards that girl. And like the Russian president, they want to now kill that girl. And the spirit of God said, for the sake of the girl, yes. offer this prayer. Oh, yes. So can we pray? Yes, Daddy. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I deploy. I deploy. The archangels. The archangels of God. Of God. God. The archangels. The archangels of warfare. Of warfare. And I send them. And I send them into the family. Into the family. And the home. And the home of Mr. Baumia. Of Mr. Baumia. To fight. To fight. And deliver. And deliver from the hands. From the hands of premature death. Of premature death. As we pray. As we pray. We decree. We decree. Divine health. Divine health. And long life. And long life for him. For him, his wife, his wife, and his baby girl, and his baby girl in Jesus' in mighty name. Jesus. Now offer prayer. But the brother boy, the prince, the kapa, he pant the bed, the bed, the bed, the pant the bed, 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 the